सभी को प्रभु यीशु के नाम में फिर से अभिवादन करती हूँ आज के सुबह परमेश्वर के नाम की महिमा हो जो आज हम फिर से आपके सामने आ पाए हैं ये परमेश्वर की बहुत बड़ी अनुग्रह और दया है आप सभी को ये अच्छे हैं भले चंगे हैं इसके लिए परमेश्वर के नाम की हम महिमा करते हैं स्तुति करते हैं क्योंकि परमेश्वर के रगत के बदौलत आज आप और मैं यहाँ पे मिल पाए हैं आप और मैं दूर में हैं फिर भी हम बाइबल के वचन का अनुसार करते हैं हम दूर भी हैं तो हम आत्मा में एक हैं परमेश्वर के नाम की महिमा आए हम कुछ गीतों को गाते हैं प्रार्थना करें इसके पहले लेटेस्ट प्रे धन्यवाद प्रभु ईश्वर तेरी नाम की महिमा और स्तुति करते हैं धन्यवाद पवित्र आत्मा परमेश्वर पिता इस सेवा का को हम तेरे हाथों में समर्पण करते हैं शुरू से अंत तक प्रिय प्रभु ईश्व तेरे अनुग्रह और तेरे प्रभु सहायता से तू चला प्रभु हर एक चीज़ को हम तेरे हाथों में देते हैं परमेश्वर पिता और तू प्रभु अपनी दया से चला प्रभु सभी को तू आश्वस्त कर प्रभु इस सूबे में जो कोई भी प्रभु तकलीफ में हो प्रभु जो कोई भी वेदना में है जो कोई भी प्रभु संकट और मुसीबत और दर्द में है प्रभु यीशु के नाम में मैं उनको छुटकारा मांगती हूँ प्रभु यीशु के लो में क्योंकि प्रभु तेरे लो में छुटकारा है तेरे लो में शांति है तेरे लो में आनंद है परमेश्वर पिता प्रिय प्रभु यीशु धन्यवाद प्रभु आज के दिन के लिए जो तूने हमें दिया प्रभु हर एक दिन हम जो देखते हैं वो केवल और केवल प्रभु यीशु तेरी अनुग्रह से हम देख पाते हैं इसलिए परमेश्वर पिता तेरी नाम की महिमा हो हमारे जीवन से प्रभु तू खुशी हो तू आनंदित हो प्रभु यीशु हमारे जीवन से पवित्र आत्मा परमेश्वर पिता तेरी नाम की गौरव हो प्रभु तेरी सिंहसान सदैव बना रहे तेरी सिंहसान की गौरव हो हाँ प्रभु यीशु राजा तू न्याय करने वाला और तू सच्चा और धर्मी प्रभु तू क्रोध करने मत विलम्ब करने वाला परमेश्वर है प्रभु यीशु राजा धन्यवाद प्रभु यीशु प्रार्थना करती हूँ प्रभु सभी लोगों के लिए प्रभु सभी को तो आशीष कर और इस फोन में प्रभु तू लेकर के आ परमेश्वर पिता ताकि प्रभु जब तक हम इस शरीर में हैं परमेश्वर पिता हम ये शरीर के द्वारा तेरी महिमा कर सके क्योंकि प्रभु तेरा बचन ऐसा कहता है दाऊद राजा ऐसा कहता है प्रभु जब हम मर कर के मिट्टी के नीचे जाएंगे तो प्रभु ये हमारे शरीर कभी भी तेरा इबादत नहीं कर सकता है प्रभु जब तक हम पृथ्वी के ऊपर बना रहेंगे तब तक प्रभु ये हम तेरी महिमा करेंगे इसलिए हाँ प्रभु ये धन्यवाद ये देन के लिए ये नाशिशों के लिए धन्यवाद देते हुए प्रार्थना को सुन और कबूल कर प्रभु ये के नाम से मांगते
परमेश्वर के नाम की महिमा हो हाल लुया धन्यवाद और स्तुति आराधना परमेश्वर के नाम हो क्योंकि वो हमारा जीवन दाता परमेश्वर है जिन्होंने हमें जीवन दिया है और उसके आगे हम झुकते हैं और दंडवत करते हैं और हम धन्यवाद देते हैं क्योंकि योग्य केवल परमेश्वर है और वही हमारा भरोसा है क्योंकि परमेश्वर के बगैर हम कुछ भी नहीं इसलिए मेरे प्रिय भाई और बहनों बच्चन ऐसा कहता है बाइबल हमें ऐसा कहती है सिखाती है कि अपने सारे हृदय से अपने सारे समझ से और अपने सारे शक्ति से हम परमेश्वर को प्रेम करें क्योंकि परमेश्वर यही चाहता है परमेश्वर को मैंने स्वच्छ बलिदान परमेश्वर के लिए हम यही चढ़ा सकते हैं और परमेश्वर टूटे और पीछे हुए हृदय को कभी भी तुच्छ नहीं जानता है आए हम दूसरा गीत को गाए आराधना आराधना आराधना
praise the lord father we come to you lord hallelujah we are here to exalt your name lord hallelujah we are here to exalt your name lord we are here to bless your name jesus because there is no other god like you we praise you god the one who was and is to come we praise you god we praise you we magnify your name lord hallelujah let all the chains fall down lord in your name amen we praise you god we praise you we praise you let there be redemption happening upon us lord in us lord hallelujah we praise you we praise you let there be revival happening in us lord hallelujah we magnify your name lord amen we praise you let your name be exalted on life on high lord hallelujah father we come to you lord we come to you as a church to dwell in your presence lord amen we give thanks to you we praise you lord we praise you we praise you we praise you your name alone to be glorified lord hallelujah let your name be exalted on high lord let your name be exalted on high he is exalted he
exalted on high lord we praise you we give thanks to you we give thanks to you lord you are our shelter lord you are our provider you are the god who cares for us lord we thank you we give praise to you lord we give praise to you we give praise to you bible says god is our shelter and strength and always ready to help in times of trouble so we will not be afraid even if the earth is shaken and mountains fall into ocean depth even if the seas roar and rage and of hills are shaken by the violence there is river that brings joy to the city of god to the scan house of the most high god is the city and it will never be destroyed amen you are a city lord we praise you you are a provider you are a shelter whom shall whom shall we should fear lord hallelujah amen we give thanks to you lord we praise you we praise you we praise you Jehovah Jireh my provider is grace is sufficient for me Jehovah Jireh my provider is grace is sufficient for me My God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory He would give us angels to watch over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Let's put our hands and sing to our Lord. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me. Jehovah Jireh. My provider is grace is sufficient for me My God shall supply all my need According to his riches and glory He would give us angels charge over me Jehovah Jireh cares for me for me for me Jehovah Jireh cares Jehovah Jireh my provider is grace is sufficient for me Jehovah Jireh my provider is grace is sufficient for me My God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory He would give us angel charge over me Jehovah Jireh cares for me for me for me Jehovah Jireh cares for me Jehovah Jireh my provider is peace is sufficient for me Jehovah Jireh my provider His grace is sufficient for me My God shall supply all my need According to His riches and glory He would give His angels charge over me Jehovah Jireh cares for me For me, for me Jehovah Jireh cares for me The caring God Jehovah Jireh My provider is grace is sufficient for me Jehovah Jireh My provider is grace is sufficient for me My God shall supply all my need According to his riches and glory He would give us angels charge over me Jehovah Jireh cares for me for me for me Jehovah Jireh cares for me Jehovah Jireh cares for me for me for me Jehovah Jireh cares for me Jehovah Jireh cares for me for me for me Jehovah Jireh cares for me Thank you for carrying me Lord hallelujah the caring God 
thank you thank you for your shelter lord hallelujah we praise you we magnify your name lord hallelujah we give thanks to you we give thanks to you lord we give thanks to you amen jesus in your name we pray lord we pray in your name lord we come in your name lord hallelujah amen uh, your name is a strong and mighty tower lord hallelujah your name is shelter like no other lord your name let the nation sing lord hallelujah it's only your name it's only your name we pray in your name amen 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 as morning dawns and evening fades you inspire songs of praise that rise from earth to touch your heart and glorify your name morning dawn and evening faith you inspire songs of praise that rise from earth to touch we give praise to you we give praise to you thank you thank you lord thank you for everything you have done lord hallelujah in jesus mighty and marvelous name i pray amen praise god hallelujah what a joy it is to be in the presence of the lord lord i am yours master and you are my no god jesus I am yours and you are mine. I have heard your voice and it told thy love to me, O Lord God, Jesus. And I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee. Draw me nearer to thy bleeding side.
sing it together
the cross where thou hast died. Lift you up, Lord. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. What love be it? Jesus, I have Jesus, 
this is my story my song blessed assurance i have in jesus my lord my god hallelujah Bye.
we are going to give to the lord when we continue to pray singing this chorus alone i give you this opportunity a privilege even right from your homes by by google to pay or internet banking you can reach out to the lord by giving to the lord you can find the bank descriptions in the below in the description box we will say lord i will praise you what a blessed assurance blessed assurance jesus is mine oh what a fortune of glory has a continual feast life in you is peace joy righteousness right standing and we have it for your glory what a privilege and a pleasure in your presence in jesus matchless mighty name unto thee o father god we pray amen amen we will pray for our nation and for our church hallelujah hallelujah we praise you we praise you oh god thank you lord for bringing us here once again oh lord in your presence oh lord lord we delight in this moment oh lord that you have brought us together lord we lift your name on high we magnify you we glorify you oh lord for all that you have been in us been for us for all that you are done for us and you you're doing for us and you're going to do oh lord we praise you and thank you for this wonderful new morning oh lord lord as we come together agree in prayer oh lord for our nation and for our church lord lord we praise you and we thank you lord that you are a god that answers all our prayers oh lord with spirit of oneness oh lord we cry unto you for our nation oh lord lord we commit the, our nation into thy hands oh lord lord we cry cry out to you oh lord for all the souls there oh lord who don't know you oh master 
Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, that they will hear about you and accept you, O oh Master. Yes, Lord. Every nook and corner of our country, O oh Master. Yes, Lord. Let your name be glorified, O oh Lord. Yes, mighty God. On that day, when we see you face to face, O oh Lord, yes, Master, let every one in our nation and in this earth know you, O oh Lord. And even before that, O oh Master, yes, mighty God, Lord, we pray for our nation, O oh Lord, yes, Master. All the problems that it is facing, O oh Lord, especially our economy, O oh Lord, Lord, we commit it into thy hands, O Master. Yes, mighty God. Only you can do great things for us, O Lord. We cry unto you. Lord, we pray for our government, O Lord. The center, the state, O Master. And all our political leaders, we commit them into thy hands, O Lord. Lord, and we pray, O Lord, that you will take away this pandemic completely, O Lord from a nation and from this world, O oh Lord. Yes, mighty God, all the uh, things that the government does, O oh Master, to eradicate this pandemic and all, everything be committed into your hands, O oh Lord. Yes, mighty God. Lord, we especially pray for our Chief Minister, O oh Lord. Yes, mighty God, we commit him into your hands. Lord, fill him with your knowledge, wisdom, power and understanding, O oh Lord, to rule our state, O oh Lord. Yes, mighty God. Yes, Lord, and all the needs, everything to be met by you, O oh Lord. Lord, we pray for the poor people and for the people who are affected by this pandemic, O oh Lord. Many of them who have lost their jobs, O oh Lord. Yes, mighty God who are suffering, who have lost their near and dear ones. We commit all those people into thy hands, O Master. Yes, mighty God, and protect our country, O Lord, from all the natural calamities, O Lord. Lord, we pray for good rains, O Master. Yes, mighty God, especially in the south, O Lord, for the coming monsoon, O Lord. Lord, we commit the farmers into thy hands, O Master. Yes, Lord. We pray for all the problems that they are facing, O Lord. Lord, be, let your mighty presence and protective hands be over our country, O Lord. Lord, we come for our church, O Lord. Lord, we commit thy church into thy hands, O Lord. Bless our church, O Lord. Take care of all the needs of the church, O Master. Lord, we pray for a pastor and his family, O Lord, and the other pastors and volunteers and other people, O Lord. Everybody, O Lord, who is connected to this church, each family, each person, Lord, we commit them into your hands, O Lord. Yes, mighty God, each one of them, we fence them in your blood, O Lord. Lord, we pray for our believers' family, O oh Lord. Each family, O oh Lord, we give them to your hands, O oh Lord. The children, the elderly people, everyone, O oh Lord. Yes, Master, your protective hands be over them, O oh Lord. Lord, and once again, O oh Lord, take care of all the needs of the church. Lord, we pray for our spiritual growth of our believers, O oh Lord. Yes, Lord, that... We will get ready for your coming, O oh Lord. And we pray for the revival, O oh Master. Yes, mighty God. Lord, we ask all this in unto the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Greetings to you in Jesus' precious name. Some of the important announcements for this week. If you are watching this RSAG eChurch YouTube channel for the first time, we encourage you to continue to participate and be blessed. We would like to get to know 
details about you. So get the number from the description box and contact us and share your prayer requests. In these days, as the government has laid down lockdown for religious worships on Fridays, Saturday and Sundays, we will be having a Sunday services online until we receive the next update from the government. Our first Tamil service will be premiered on Sundays at 5 a.m. and English service will be premiered on Sundays at 7 a.m. In these days, though you will not be able to meet a pastor in person, you can still be able to reach him through his mobile number. Kindly make a note of his mobile number. We have exclusive praise and worship scheduled in the church premises. On every Monday, it will be in Tamil from mornings 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. To worship the Lord in English, it is scheduled on Tuesdays from morning 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. So we encourage all the church members to come and to worship the Lord. Let's come together and worship the Lord. In view of lockdown or religious worship on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we will be having our Sunday services on Wednesday Wednesdays and Thursdays. On Wednesdays, we will have two services. The first service will commence from morning 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. and the second service will commence from morning 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Both these services exclusively will be in Tamil. And on Wednesday evening, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., we will have a bilingual service. And on Thursdays, we will have our English service commencing from morning 5 a.m. To 7 a.m. We request you all to come to our church premises and be blessed. We have an early morning prayer in the church premises daily and also via Google Meet. And you will find the details on the screen. Kindly contact the details so that you'll be able to participate. On the screen, you're finding the participants of the early morning prayer in the previous weeks. We encourage you to note of the contact number and so that you'll be able to connect in this early morning prayer. We also have a chain prayer that's happening area wise on each day from Monday to Sunday so kindly make note of your area and contact your area pastor and communicate that you had prayed for the area every Friday we have fasting prayer from 10 a.m. to 12 noon we are being meditating about the woman in the Bible especially we have begun from women in the book of Genesis it has been a great blessing as we meditate so we encourage you to participate this in RSAG each church youtube channel and be blessed we have a virtual sunday school happening on sundays from 4 45 pm to 6 pm this exclusively happens in tamil and english so we encourage the parent to make a note of this and make sure that your children participate on the screen you find the children who have participated in the previous week and also you find the teachers who are leading these children Praise be to the name of the Lord. And we also have Youth Fellowship is conducted by Brother Samuel Aaron and Miss Shalom on every Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m. This is exclusively for students who are studying plus one, plus two and up to college. Last week about 15 students participated and were blessed. So kindly get the details that is displayed on the screen. Contact Miss Shalom with the number displayed on the screen and participate and be blessed. Our on course are those who work along with us who are a neighbor, who are a relative, whom we meet on a day-to-day -day basis, who are yet to know Christ. And as we continue to pray for their personal prayer requests and the presence of the Lord, and God will make way that they will hear the gospel and they be saved. On October 31st, we have a Bible verse memorization competition. And those who have registered and those who are not registered, kindly register. And those who have registered, we encourage you to continue to memorize and get ready for that day. We have Bible Quest 2000. 2021 organized by Campus Crusade for Christ and the Bible portion is Ezra, Nehemiah and the book of Revelation. The quiz is scheduled on November 28th from 2 to 4 p.m. The venue is online or also it can be taken in the church premises. The language, it can be Tamil, English, Telugu, Hindi and the age group. It is of all age group that can participate. The registration is 30. You can register with the area leader. Regarding the prices, prices offered from Campus crusade for the first prize winners they will receive 3,000 second prize winners will receive 2,000 and third prize winners will receive 1,000 and a matching and an equal price is also contributed from a church to those prize winners of a church whosoever receives the first prize they will have an additional prize from our church of rupees 3,000 whoever wins second prize in our church will have an additional gift of rupees 2,000 and whoever receives third prize they will receive an additional prize of rupees 
6000 from our church so we encourage everyone to participate in this quiz and be blessed and as you hear the sermon we encourage you to make a note journal it and if you could convert the journal into a meaningful drawing and whatsapp to us you'll be able to share it with others and they will also be encouraged on the screen you find from virgambakkam sister angel mary have shared her journal and kodambakkam pastor paul has shared the sermon notes and on the screen you find the ali endal participants I have a branch church at ali endal and the participants of sunday service and you are finding the photograph praise be to the name of the lord so kindly make a note of this number and share your journal or your drawings may the name of the lord be glorified god bless you praise the lord i am glad to see you all once again in this wonderful morning i greet you all in the name of the jesus christ who gave us the boldness to get into the presence of god without the shedding of blood we can't enter the place of holiness so as on every tuesday let us all unite as one exalt the one who gave us boldness to reach the holy of holy so i request you all to come on every tuesday to worship the lord and it's time to hear the word of god let us all put our hands together let's welcome our senior pastor to come and deliver the word of god it is a joy to see all of you live and also minister to you who are watching our church service through this youtube channel praise and glory be to the name of god being the fourth week we are going to stand up and confess the great commission given by jesus christ matthew chapter 28 19 and 20th verses it will be displayed to you on the screen you can we can confess it together this is the reason why the church is living this is the reason why god has given you breath in your and mine nostrils here we go therefore go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and teaching them to obey everything i have commanded you and surely i am with you always to the very end of the age raise your right hand right now for a minute and praise and glorify god say to the lord speak to me this morning speak to me lord god open my eyes to see the wonders of your word lord god here we have come longing thirsting for you thirsting for your mighty words thirsting for your works lord god jesus hallelujah we rejoice in you lord god we thank you for your goodness lord god thank you lord god hallelujah for your blood cleansing power upon us for thank you for the bleeding side hallelujah thank you for getting us to it lord god we love you with all our hearts and we praise you heavenly father to you be the glory o lord and we all said a loud hallelujah take your seats please amen two weeks back we have been we have started to see on a series called the power of the blood covenant today we are going to see the second part of it we read the blood of jesus his son god's son purifies us from all unrighteousness or all sins no sin is exempt that jesus blood cannot purify and right from the old covenant we are able to see that the blood was shed okay so now i am asking you a question expecting an answer from your opinion tell me as you read the bible what was the first incident that blood was shed hmm good good sister she is telling lamb so the lamb's blood was shed 
and the skin was given with the blood to clothe adam and eve and you and i are clothed with that blood leave out adam and eve. true very good very good A- anything else before that that has happened where god had shed blood or god or somebody has shed blood before that incident anywhere last week while i was singing this song this first song draw me nearer to this precious bleeding side god brought me my attention before those lambs blood was shed another blood was shed i want your attention right now when god was about to create eve to genesis 2:21 where we see the lord caused the man to fall into a deep sleep and while he was sleeping he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh i'm asking you do you want a life partner god is telling you go to deep sleep if you are awake you will search for a life partner in bus stand and railway station and god put adam into a deep sleep and what did he do and god gave a sleeping anesthesia that adam was completely unconscious and god conducted a surgery in the rib area and he opened the rib area and he took one of the ribs when he opened i tell you blood was shed then he brings this and he he once again he fills that area with flesh first god conducted a surgery and now a plastic surgery to set things right in man and now he brings the woman and woman is standing before adam so some now the scientists have counted the number of ribs in man and the number of ribs in woman are they the same or anything different same or same so some of them are telling if the bible is true one rib should be missing in the male gender and i am asking you consider you you go through an accident jerry who is here you consider you lost your arm okay now a son is born to jerry will that son have arm or no arm okay consider that i cut my thumb finger when i have children will my children have thumbs or no thumbs they will have what does that mean god took the rib bone only out of adam and if you want to go and find it go search for the skeleton of adam and find it that his rib bone will be missing because god took it out from adam it does not mean his descendants will be missing the rib bone the bible is perfectly true perfectly right glory to god and in the next verse god is telling that is why a man leaves his father and his mother and is united to his wife and they become one flesh marriage god considers it one flesh sometimes the married parties the husband and wife you consider yourself coming from different families you will say you are more united with your sister because you are flesh and blood but according to the word of god the first covenant that god had opened is this covenant of marriage which is 
otherwise called which involves a blood covenant where god had had to open the rib side of adam shedding blood know that you and your wife are wedded with a blood covenant amen are you with me do you agree with that amen so that's the reason a man and a woman shall separate from their own families and they shall unite so that they are one flesh three truths are involved in this matter a man leaves his parents and in a public act promises himself to his wife then a man the man and the woman are joined together by taking responsibility of each other's welfare and by loving their mate above all others and thirdly the two are united into one of the intimacy and commitment of sexual union that is reserved for marriage strong marriages include all three of these aspects and it is called the blood covenant when god united them it was joy prosperity such glory and it was before the fall and mankind had a fall and after the fall some calamities some confusions challenges happen in marriages for that matter we we read in the in genesis that god cursed he said cursed is the ground because of you through faith painful toil you will eat food from it all the days of your life man had to sweat for his food people had to really work hard in order to earn money in order to raise up their own cultivation there came the problem and there has come the problem today there are many men who are so lazy who don't go to work and the family is suffering they are suffering when they don't go to work a week ago a sister who got married from our church she spoke to me and she said pastor my husband is not going to job properly wherever he goes he has a big mouth at one point of time he loses his job no rent to pay pay no money to pay for uh, school fees how long i'll be suffering like this how many years she was just pouring out her heart for more than 30 minutes i wonder there is another christian brother who got her married because there there are frequent conflicts in this family like this i wanted to hear what that other brother told and he had given a counsel to her if you both of you don't get along well separate that's easy to say god did not unite people to get separated if i were to give this counsel to in our church 50% of our men and women will be broken today that's not the reason that god united you in marriage it's easy to do that separate but to live together as god has bonded them i told the sister god has given you education he has given you wisdom i told whatever leave your husband pray i'll also agree with you in prayer sister you start working if the man is going wrong in his in his area in his sphere you take up that responsibility you can do it you can do it i know women who have worked and who have supported and who have made their families stand together very well i know a family this man wherever he goes he he won't stay in the job once again a big mouth and the sister who is a 
of a noble character and she took it up and she had to yearn but thank god this brother at least served as a babysitter at home he took care of the children some men even don't do that if you, if your wife is going for, for work at least take care of your children there are some other good men when the wife is very much involved they they also help in cooking in the house today you can't give roles the cooking is only the woman's responsibility there are times that a family is unable to run with single income both man and wife need to earn there are times like that and you need to help one another in in our jobs because the lady in the house is also bringing some money i i knew another family this man was earning a very big amount of money but he sent her his wife to work i think he was earning more than 1 lakh more very easily 1 and 1/2 lakhs i am talking to you about 15 years back but he sent his wife for a 20000 job i still remember i asked her why why should you work my husband is asking pastor what i am bringing this much to the table what are you bringing to the table okay a very logical reasoning whatever and the final thing that couple did not have children as far as i know sometimes whatever i don't want to call it greed or whatever but this man wanted his wife to bring something to the table and it is his opinion and it is good for them glory to god and this is the counsel that i gave she went on complaining about her life partner i told let's stop at this moment nobody will follow the counsel that you give or i give 100% there is only one person who will follow the counsel that you have and that is you alone i have seen in my ministry nobody have followed the counsel that i have given 100% i can the only person that i can change is me the only person that you can change is you and that is enough many times we give counsel for free as a pastor i tell you i don't charge people for counseling and sometimes when we give it backfires i identified a family with debt and i suggested them since you are all single you can go for a single bedroom house this was a suggestion so that they will save some money and pay back the debt they didn't talk to me direct after some time i heard through some other brother that that family had asked will pastor live in a single bedroom house i tell you if i have to if i were in debt if i have to live i have to live i decided i will not give counsel to people who don't need it i can give counsel to people only who are desirous and who are longing for it but whatever you need money to sustain the family that's why somebody jokingly said six things that wives expect from their husbands sincerity affection love attention respect and youthful appearance they put all these first letters together and call it salary and it is very much needed for every family look at that when god put adam into deep sleep and from the rib he made eve when these people had failed god and had fallen there was a need of the second adam who is called jesus god put the first adam into sleep when jesus was hanging on the cross and he also went into a deep eternal sleep 
John 19:34 says I read it for you instead one of the soldiers pierced Jesus side with a spear bringing a sudden flow of blood and water Jesus also went into such a great sleep and the holy father say when Jesus went into the sleep and this soldier pierced and it went into the pericardium meaning a part of the heart blasting out with blood and water and that was the time the church the bride of god was born at the rib of jesus and you and i are part of the bride of christ will you confess i am the bride of christ how did he buy it male and female when his rib was pierced with a spear water came out water is significant of the immersion baptism blood came out which signifies the lord's supper you belong you and i belong to jesus and he has told remember me whenever you eat this body and drink this wine i've been telling you before i came to the service i had communion remembering jesus the first meal i have every day soon after i get up is communion because my jesus i am the bride of christ pierced and bought by the grace of god for the glory of god and the church is the bride from the adamic covenant the passing to the second adam in the new covenant we are going to the next covenant in the new testament which is called the abrahamic covenant i'm going to talk about three places where blood was shed in the old testament now coming to genesis chapter 17 verse 2 god is telling then i will make my covenant between me and you and will greatly increase your numbers it was god who made this covenant with abraham verse 5 no longer will you be called abram your name will be called abraham for i have made you a father of many nations before god is cutting the covenant with abram god is changing the name abram means exalted father turned to abraham means father of many nations meaning that you will increase and multiply manifold in number after changing the name in verse 10 this is my covenant with you and your descendants after you the covenant you are to keep every male among you shall be circumcised abrahamic covenant included circumcision the tip flesh of all males were cut meaning a blood was shed what did this this signify when god commanded circumcision four items did it signify a sign of obedience to god in all matters obedience then a sign of belonging to god's covenant people once circumcised the man would be identified as god's chosen people eventually belonging to the jewish community god's chosen people thirdly a symbol of cutting off the old life of sin purifying one's heart and dedicating wholly to god and fourthly possibly a health measure doctors say that cir- circumcision has its own health benefits after 
doing all these things god gave the promised son isaac to abraham and sarah after 100 years of waiting god had given and now in 22nd chapter god is asking give me your son as a burnt offering as a sacrifice unto me a, a big dilemma for abraham how will i sacrifice my son know that god tests you before he blesses you and me but satan will tempt you why does he give temptation for you and me to fall down flatter stumble and go astray but god does not tempt us god tests us say that why does he test you when he gives you when when he tests you he will give the needful strength the grace he will reinforce his power so that you go to the next level that he wants to bless you that is that is the reason that god tested abram god is telling i'm oh will you give me your son as a burnt offering what does that test signify i have given you a son a gift abraham what is important to you is it the gift or the giver amen today there are lot of electronic gadgets including the cell phone sometimes cell phone takes the place of god who is important whether the giver or the gift jesus told when you come to pray in my presence lock the door today we'll lock the door and have the cell phone inside that is ringing disturbing irritating when we come to pray i think we need to give a big lock lock door for our cell phone when we come to the prayer room turn it off that's the time satan give a detox for your cell phone my daughter spoke yesterday if you are addicted to youtube or something in the internet give a detox for 3 days lord i will not go into it for 3 days i will not open the facebook page for 3 days i am addicted to it i will close it down the giver is more important than the gift now abraham he is he is deciding i am giving the priority for the giver but when they go look at the words of affirmation in verse 5 what abraham is telling he is telling to the servants stay here with the donkey by i and the boy go over there and we will worship and then we will come back to you it's not singular plural how do you know abram that you will return back i don't know i believe in god i have total faith in god because in the previous chapter 21 12 god had given abraham an assurance telling in isaac your seed shall be called your seed shall increase so abraham is believing in this promise and he is going further and now is the emotional moment when abraham has taken the knife to kill his son isaac isaac is not a little lad isaac is around 20 years old a teenage boy and if he wants to he can topple the grandfather and put him on the altar but isaac made no resistance because abraham had prepared but think about the emotional moment i too have two children and abraham coming to terms straight looking i upon i or to isaac isaac would have closed his eyes and abraham and at that time when the knife was just picked up god told abraham 
now i know you give more utmost importance to the giver don't kill your son he said i will bless your offspring like the stars in the sky and like the sand on the seashore that is how it shall be instead of isaac there was a ram abraham sacrificed that ram this ram is symbolic of jesus instead of isaac jesus was slaughtered oh what a privilege instead of you and me in that place jesus shed his blood and he died i was reading pastor benny hin where he is narrating an experience after he ministered in a service it was announced people who want personal prayers can come and be prayed a mother and a teenage daughter had come forward to pray and when he was about to pray the spirit of god said don't pray look at her fingers look at her hands in the finger there was a ring and in that ring there was a snake's picture and he says the holy spirit told remove that ring off her and he went and he caught hold of the finger and started removing when he started removing the girl's face went haywire meaning i came here to pray do your duty to pray don't do all this stuff and he said i am going to remove when he continued to remove it didn't come out the spirit inside her spoke don't remove i am in here i'm in her for years together with a guttural voice knowing the danger two young people came there to remove and they did not come out the girl was screaming screeching the spirits began to manifest and he knew it was the holy spirit who is wanting to remove that that bonding it's ju- it's a bonding with some evil spirit knowingly or unknowingly it is given as a charm for somebody to wear after 20 minutes of struggle it did not come out the ring did not come out pastor benny hin pronounced by the blood of jesus i command this ring to come out immediately the ring came out he says after that she didn't need any more prayer this girl was completely delivered from the bondages my dear brother sister do you have such kind of bonding any anything like this uh, ring a charm or a or a talisman that you are wearing in your neck you don't know somebody you even your parents have gone to a witch or a witch doctor and they have made some kind of contract with some spirits i tell you it will hinder the lord's blessing when you keep wearing such things remove it from you remove it from your house if you have unwanted stuff the pictures of idols and so on horoscope materials remove and throw it out burn them out it will hinder god god's blessing in your life you might ask me how pastor that ring hinders me one aken in the army of israel when he brought babylonian garments that god had told to abstain from the whole israelites were defeated one aken you will be the loser today by keeping those talismans or charms what was that aken's babylonian garment is this girl's ring which needs to be removed <clears throat> i am coming to my final point now today what i have titled clash of clans coming to the book of exodus blood being manifested blood being revealed god 
told Abraham, foretold Abraham that your descendants will go down to another land, a foreign land and they will become slaves there. They went to Egypt and eventually or incidentally these people, Israelites, they became slaves in the land of Egypt. They don't have salary, limited food, they are given housing, but they have become slaves. Slaves, God, no name for the God. What they could call him? The God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. But what kind of power he has? We don't know. He has not delivered us from slavery all these years. We prayed, no effect. Sometimes we also undergo, no? For this I prayed, God, you did not answer. So I don't need Jesus. Jesus is the source of eternal life. Even if I don't get answer for that, it does not matter. He gives me the strength. He says, my grace is sufficient for you. So these Israelites were comparing them and the Egyptians, the gods that Egyptians are working, they, they seem to be more powerful. They have names. They have pictures as you are seeing. But the God these people are calling Yahweh, he has no figure, no form. And these gods that the Egyptians are worshipping, they have ins enslaved us. So our God is not having any power. We call in Tamil Kula Devam, no power. But the Egyptians, their gods have power, they have enslaved us. So their gods have more power and the Israelites started to worship the Egyptian gods. This is the truth of the matter because they found in their God there is no power. Now, after so many years, God met with Moses in the burning bush and he gave a sign. You go to my people Israel, you put your hand in your shirt and take it out. When he took it out, before the people they saw, it has turned leprous, the hand. Hey, these people are wondering, even Yahweh, God of Abraham, he also has some powers. Amazing. And once again he puts the hand into the shirt and takes it out, the hand has become normal. Now the people are telling, ah, God of Abraham can do magic. We didn't know this God, God can do magic by making it leprous and take, turning it normal. But now the question, is this God greater than the God of Egypt to bring us out of slavery? He is able to do magic, very happy. But is he strong and powerful than the God? Gods of Egypt, Egyptians had around thousand plus gods. But there were ten chief gods for the Egyptians. As we see in India, how many gods are here in India? 33 crore gods, they say. Among them, three chief gods. Right? The Saivites, they consider Shiva as their god. The Vaishnavites, Vishnu as their god. And the Brahmites consider Brahman as their god. In all these three put together, three chief gods called as Mummurtis. But here, even in Egypt, there are chief gods and there are three chief gods and seven sub-gods and there are many other sub-gods related to these ten gods. God be gracious. Now these Israelites have become slaves for around four decades of time. God help us. Now God is telling Moses, go and meet Pharaoh when he has come to meet his God. What is the first chief God of the entire Egypt? The river Nile. 
विच मेक्स द होल लैंड फर्टाइल इन दोज डेज इट वॉज नॉट कॉल्ड नाइल दे गेव अ नेम टू दिस गॉड एस्टे आई प्रीच्ड अबाउट दिस दिस गॉड इज कॉल्ड हप्पी वन सिस्टर हैज आस्क माई वाइफ सिस्टर इज 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 इट द नेम दैट पास्ट हैड गिवन दैट गॉड आई डेंट गिव इट history is telling that the egyptians had given this happy name to river nile and this is how and the egyptians worshiped it at as god and this is called the sun god the chief god of the egyptians happy pharaoh will come and worship happy first and only then he will go to take care to do his duties and pharaoh has come to worship happy moses and aaron are going before this pharaoh and telling god of the israelites are telling let my people go to worship me he's telling who is your god that whom do i know that you are god is now aaron is putting immersing the rod into the happy's area the nile rivers water when it was immersed the water turned into blood blood there are many tributaries for this river nile for happy and aaron and moses they go and immerse the rod wherever they put the rod it is turning blood pharaoh is wondering what is happening the god of the slaves i don't know him who is that fellow the water that gave the vegetation for the land of egypt oh now they they don't have vegetation for days they are not able to draw water even from the tributaries no water god made happy to vomit blood literally and the fishes inside the river they died and they stank the first hit god gave was on their chief god happy and the blood came out what does that prove the blood of jesus christ is greater than any other god the power of jesus is greater and the israelites became so excited god did not stop with one plague he continued because there are nine other gods nine other chief gods they will say okay happy is powerless before our god there are other gods the israelites will carry in order to worship god had to bring judgment upon them also that is the reason that god gave ten plagues in egypt delivering the people with blood finally god willing i will speak about those clash of titans the first clash is with happy as you saw let me tell you our god is a great god above everything and to him lord we come to your bleeding side master shall we get up together and we pray lord i give myself under the blood covenant of jesus i reach your heart i give my family we sprinkle the blood of jesus upon our family members upon our church lord jesus christ we sprinkle the precious blood of the lamb blood of the lord jesus christ upon everyone sprinkle the blood of jesus upon our church all the members who are all everybody who are attending the service through youtube we sprinkle the blood of jesus upon the surroundings in the northern southern in the eastern and western areas all the four directions hallelujah in the name of jesus christ and we take the victory oh lord god hallelujah your blood is greater and more powerful overcoming everything lord god remember the marriage covenant remember you and your wife are united together because jesus
Jesus shed on the cross in his sleep from his rib came water and blood hallelujah thank you lord jesus christ i am thine o lord i have heard thy voice and it told thy love to me but i long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee draw me nearer nearer blessed lord to the cross where thou hast died draw me nearer 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 blessed lord to thy precious bleeding side consecrate me now to thy service lord by the power of grace divine let my soul look up with a steadfast hope and my will be lost in thine draw me nearer nearer blessed lord to the cross where thou hast died me nearer 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 blessed lord to thy precious bleeding side the pure oh the pure delight of a single love that before thy throne i spent when i kneel in prayer and with thee my god I commune as friend with friend tell it again oh the pure delight of a single love that before thy throne I spare when i kneel in prayer and with thee my god i commune as friend with friend raise your arms and say draw me nearer nearer blessed lord to the cross where thou hast died draw me nearer 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 blessed lord to thy precious bleeding side sing it again draw me nearer Nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where Thou hast died. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to Thy precious bleeding side. Sing it again. Draw me nearer, draw nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross. Where thou hast died, draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side, to thy precious bleeding side, to thy precious bleeding side. Lift up your right hand and confess with me. I belong to the blood of Jesus. No evil spirit can touch me. Nothing can come near me. I have victory over the world, over Satan, over sin. I am blessed. I am healthy. I am filled with God's grace. I belong to God. My family is protected. We all stand on blessing and we go towards blessing, greater blessings, and we have them all. In Jesus matchless name we pray. Amen. Let's all tell it together. Bless the Lord.
and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits may the love of god the father the grace of the lord jesus christ and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you all until we meet you again you are blessed dear people of god amen praise the lord